So why did we create Tetrate Service Express? A large number of our customers and the broader community are going through the same journey. Their business goals are well understood. Build stuff faster, maintain the performance and the availability of the stuff that you deliver and keep it secure. Make it as far as is possible, be secure by default. And this drives some technology imperatives. Cloud native architecture, Kubernetes based platforms, likely service mesh, but organizations need to be realistic. They start with a small investment and look to pr prove the return on this investment quickly before scaling to a larger and deeper commitment into the technology that they've proven. And for organizations that are deploying its applications on Amazon EKS, they face a number of challenges as they try and turn that platform into a platform that's production grade and delivers the technical capabilities that their applications and their users require. Technical capabilities such as high availability across different Amazon clusters and regions and zones, making application resilient to local and large scale failover, failure. Technical capabilities such as security. How do we build a large container-based application in a manner that is secure by default? And how do we apply access control and allow users who are outside of the core team responsible for the application to access our services in a controlled and accurate manner? And do all of this, the challenge is to do this quickly with limited time, limited budget to prove out the technology, to prove out the approach and to spearhead a bigger initiative. And as organizations do this, they face or they carry a range of risks. Without care, then the infrastructure can sprawl in a very unmanaged manner, leaving the risk of orphaned infrastructure, of infrastructure that's no longer under control. And with this comes the risk of shadow IT. Every team going its own way with different standards for managing and controlling infrastructure, with different ways of bringing in and managing open source projects and concerning themselves with security of those and containing the cost. Cost is another aspect that can, straw, can sprawl hugely. And organizations typically turn or often will investigate something like Istio, service mesh solution, to help deliver some of the technical capabilities that they require. But with that comes additional risks. And as I talk to users who've deployed multiple Istio deployments in environments such as EKS, we hit a very, very common familiar sets of problems. All of these separate Istio installs operate as islands. There's poor coordination, observability, lifecycle management across the different clusters and different Istio installs. The lack of technical standards means that there's a lot of inconsistency, there's higher operational ex um, expense, and there's little implementation of, of what becomes best practice. The environment can become very unreliable, difficult to operate at large scale and to deliver capabilities such as high availability or connectivity, linking different clusters together so that services running in one client cluster can access applications running in other clusters. All of these challenges become evident as organizations begin to scale, once they get to the point of having two or three clusters running cutting edge software such as Istio, then the overhead of managing and coordinating those becomes very high. So how is it that we can manage service mesh, specific Istio at scale? The day one steps, implementing encryption, um, applying access control lists, deploying an ingress to get traffic into our Istio cluster, those may be easy. But the day two steps of managing the policies that the organization requires and the life cycle of the software and the applications running on the platform 
doing that at an organization wide level is so much more difficult. And that's why we've brought to availability the Tetrate Service Express product. 